All right, we're driving our 2004 F350 Lariat. Uh, this is a 60 power stroke. Got 212 or 213 on the odometer. Solid truck for the money. Mechanically super sound. Here we are. We're cruising by 85. The truck doesn't doesn't pull or vibrate or anything. We do got like a slight little shake uh, coming from the wheel. It uh, really feels like a tire balance or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, it's a, nothing, nothing to be too concerned with. Truck shifts great. Yeah, it's got good feedback. It's not all over the road. Uh, we're actually going to take this exit here. I'm going to get on the brakes pretty hard. Just see if it kind of dips off one way. So we got consistency on uh, each side of the truck here on this braking system. Pretty straightforward, man. Super solid, brakes nice and smooth. Pedal's got good feedback. Yeah, steering's not super, super loose. Uh, suspension feels nice and tight. Uh, we got um, the shock absorbers and everything are working. I'm not getting any clunking or uh, abnormal sounds. Uh, smooth steering, uh, not a excessive play or anything like that. Maybe adjust the steering box just a tad. Um, I'd get an alignment first. Uh, the truck drives straight, although, um, you know, it is routine maintenance. Just have it checked out. The truck sounds great. Uh, I believe it's a five inch downpipe all the way out the back. functional cruise control here at about 33, 34. We're gonna speed it up. Functional and we're gonna slow it back down. All right, so that's good. Got good blinkers. So I'm gonna get it to uh, kick down. Good power. Clean shift, uh, no slipping or uh, you know excessive heat or anything like that. I think it drives super super nice. Tow haul button's not working or the um, let's see. Yeah, so the tow haul function is not working at the moment. AC's blowing cold and out the vents. Uh, I believe maybe our previous video, it was stuck on defrost. Or... I've actually got to turn quite a bit down right now, so. Nice and smooth. Slight little tire hop. Kind of feel it in the wheel. Doesn't really uh, come into effect till about, you know, 45, maybe 50. Uh, and up. Nice quiet truck. Like I said, it shifts so nice. Things not hopped up either. It's not, you know, I'm making a ton of power, or just ready to blow. A lot of the. <laughs> Most six does with problems are all set and tuned like time bombs. On this one's this one's dialed back and really solid. I've been driving now for about I'd say about 18, maybe 20 minutes. Everything's good. Warren works. Just need some car play. Um, yeah, I wouldn't even worry about that honk right there. But yeah, 
drive lines are all nice. I'm not getting any kind of you joint noise or play or any kind of um, like slack. Uh, what they do is they kind of like they'll thump. I'm uh, just excessive play. This one's solid. Track's really nice. Like I said that's the that's the, all the play we got right there. Like I said it's not very bad at all. These are adjustable steering boxes. However, um, yeah, if they look like they've been adjusted before, I always recommend just not touching it. home uh, the doesn't quite line up there's a little bit of play um, this one has play in the actual shifter uh, I'm gonna pop this off sometimes there's a little adjustment I can make and kind of get it to line up a little better so you would think that's drive it's actually neutral so you go three and then it's that's it there's our four-wheel drive there then we'll go four low. Oh, gotta be a neutral. I'm not sure it wants to. It could just be the indicator and or the switch. Four wheel drive does function though. Uh, all right. So there's four wheel drive. I don't know if the four wheel drive low lights out. a low range but yeah like I said quick starts um, so not showing any signs of high pressure issues Zoomed in there. Um, this is an 05 motor. Uh, you got your ICP and everything up here. Uh, they're much, much better. Um, hard to say how many miles are actually on the motor, but I would say it's, no matter what, it's way better than having the 04. Uh, super clean. Truck's bulletproof, just no, uh, no head studs. Nice and dry. That's just AC condensation, but there's no rear main seal leak or anything like that, dude. I said for the money, man, it's it's really one of the nicest uh, six O's uh, out there. Just needs to be uh, kind of brightened up. Needs some makeup. As far as four low, it just doesn't want to go in, but four wheel drive, functional. All right, we'll kind of go lock to lock there. Yeah, no binding in the front end. Things ready to rock. 